Hello and welcome to video number 23 of Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. We'll be picking up right where I left off on video number 22 uh, with the experiments of the uh, track test. Let's see how much we, we can move the magnet. That's the question. Uh, so I'm going to let this start from a repulsive kick. It'll be a, just a low repulsive kick because the uh, stator magnet is positioned about an inch and a half above the rotor magnets. So it won't be a strong kick. It'll it just be a very weak one. But let, let's see what happens. Here we go. It's going to start. Now we get the attraction here. It speeds up a little. And, and it stopped right there. And we're uh, since there are ten magnets in a rotor magnet group. Each magnet that it uh, uh, passes underneath the stator magnet we're going to say that we've achieved 10 percent. Okay, so what we have here, we have one, two, three, and a half. Three and a half, so that's 35 percent. Okay, now, I'm just going to pause the camera while I readjust the left end of the uh, arc to the uh, second hole. And uh, then we'll have a 700 thousandths movement and we'll see how far we can get this time. Okay, we're all set. We're adjusted to the second hole at the left end of the test arc. And uh, I'm lining up the track with the wheels of the stator carriage and I'm going to let this go and we'll see how far we can get this time that was it and what we have here is um, 10, 20, 30, 40 About 55%. Let me just try that again. Yes, that was 55%. Seven hundred thousandths of an inch movement. And that's 55% of the way through the south up magnet group on the rotor. Now I'll pause again while I readjust to the next hole. Okay, we're all set. We're at the third hole. And this is going to give us uh, 570 thousandths of an inch movement, total movement. Let me go to the other end. And we'll bring the static carriage out and engage it with the track. And I'm going to let go. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's 60% uh, I believe. Let's try that one more time just to be sure. I, I have to stop this, of course, with my hand once uh, once it does stop by itself. Otherwise, it would coast uh, back the other way. Yes, that's uh, what we have there. We have 60%. Or no, it's, ac it's actually 65%. Okay, now I'm going to uh, make another adjustment, bring it to the next hole. Okay, we're at the fourth hole, fourth adjustment hole, and uh, that's going to give us 
420,000 inch of total movement of the static carriage. I'll bring the carriage out and gauge it with the rail, with the test track, and let her go. Okay, what we have here is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 percent. Okay, we're getting a little further each time. However, we're also giving up uh, some movement each time. Okay, we're at the fifth hole of the track adjuster. And that's going to give us uh, two hundred thousandths of an inch movement. So it's less than a quarter inch. I'll bring this around to the other end. Bring out the static carriage. Engage the carriage with the track. And let her go. Okay. Now we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 percent. Okay, now we're at the sixth hole of the track adjuster, and that's going to give us only 60 thousandths of an inch total movement. So I'll bring this around to the north group, bring out the static carriage, line the wheels with the track, and let it go. Okay, now this time, this time we got to 80% Excuse me, 80? No, that's 90%. 90%. Let me do that one more time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90%. 90%. Now basically what this tells us is that uh, no, we can't move the static carriage one inch as we progress through a rotor group. Uh, and in fact it would be best not to move it at all while we're progressing through a rotor magnet group. So it looks like uh, any movement is going to have to take place at the tail end. So it's uh, quite, uh, quite evident that uh, we're definitely not going to be able to get any uh, good movement while progressing through a group. I already demonstrated that with the experiments. And um, it looks like the answer will be to leave the static carriage at a position where there's very little force, if any, uh, hopefully zero force, and uh, where I still have a good uh, movement through the group. And, um, and then of course that means that at the uh, tail end of the group uh, we'll have to achieve the movement at that point right at the tail end. Now it would be pretty tricky to, to get a full movement right at the tail end and um, that would be just like slamming into a, a wall with the wheel if we try to get a sharp curve at that point. Uh, but I am making up a test uh, track to give this uh, a tr another try. And uh, I'll move the track back inwards uh, on the um, Masonite test arc uh, to the point where there is very little or no resistance. And uh, we'll give that a try. I'll give it a little bit of curvature at the end of the track to, to see if we're able to uh, pass that point. Now I thank you for watching and um, I'll be back again shortly with uh, video number 
24.